something that US boat builders are good at that the Australians are yet to catch up with are the big sports fishers. And one of the best sports fisher brands in the world is Grady White. This is the Grady White Freedom 375, the largest dual console model that serves families as well as it serves fishing. How does it do it? Let's find out. The Grady White Freedom 375 is just over 11 metres of some of the most luxurious and well-appointed boat you'll ever see on the water. It's built as a boat can just jump on board and enjoy. The focus of this boat is here in the cockpit. It's as good as entertaining the family on a nice day out as it is running wide to haul in tuna. Features include a walk-through transom that gives good access to the water, a light fold-up bench seat, a side door built into the combing so that you don't have to step over anything to board from the jetty, and a large fish locker to store your catch. The gunnels are bolstered for comfort, there are tow rails to help with fighting a fish, and the cockpit floor is self-draining. But because this boat is also an entertainer, there's comfort and convenience built in everywhere. That includes an overhead awning that slides out at the push of a button, and a compact galley space that includes a drawer, fridge, a sink, and plenty of storage. One point of difference with Grady White and other brands is the fact that you don't necessarily have to lift up seats to put stuff away. It has this great drawer system that just does the job perfectly. The Freedom 375 is a split console boat, meaning you have access to the forward section of the boat via a companionway running through its centre. This gives easy access to what has to be one of the best bow lounges in the market. The bow lounge is huge, featuring a pair of tables that will drop down and with the help of an infill cushion become a pair of sun lounges. The wide forepeak of the Freedom 375 doesn't pinch the seat the further forward it goes, compared with other designs. But one of the best things about the Grady White is that the fun doesn't have to end when the sun goes down, and that's because this boat is also a great overnighter. Below the port console, the Grady White features a forward settee that converts into a double bed with a single berth aft. The space is fully air-conditioned to make it exceptionally comfortable. What's also special about the Freedom 375 is the way it drives. The helm in this boat is expansive, with room for two people to sit side by side. There's also plenty of space to mount a range of electronics, including twin 15-inch multifunction chart plotters. Now, our boat is fitted with three of Yamaha's new 450 horsepower engines. You can't buy this engine in Australia yet, there are none being imported, but you can if you buy an imported boat. It offers a little bit more power than the 425 that they're based on. Not a huge amount of difference from what you feel at the helm, but just enough to just put that extra little edge on top of things. Now, of course, this is an offshore boat, and we've taken it outside Sydney Heads there, where it's actually quite rough. Um, there's a bit of weather blowing in from Queensland, so the swell is right up. This thing just cut through it like butter. It's a really good, solid hull, and it rides the swell and waves really comfortably. The other thing, too, is it has that big Carolina flare up the front, so any spray that it kicks up just gets thrown away instantly. This is a big boat, so it's no surprise that it also has Yamaha's Hellmaster EX joystick control system fitted. It's a pretty clever setup that takes a lot of the stress out of manoeuvring this boat at low speeds, such as bumping in or out of a marina berth. Whatever you choose to use it for, the Grady White Freedom 375 is a pretty versatile platform. Now we don't often say this, but this appears to be a boat that is good at everything you throw at it. It's safe, comfortable and adaptable, and has everything you need to enjoy life on the water.